As the I stated before, the Master is in you and you are to seek him, her. The Bible is a not only the book of genealogy, but also how to behave in certain situations as taught by the biblical character Jesus. I say character as the people of the Bible are allegory and substance, meaning they are names given to fictional characters to convey the messages they convey in the form of a story. The Bible even says it's all allegory and if ones would remove their blinders, ones would see it in plain black and white in the palms of their own hands. Keep in mind that the New Testament is a book of the words of Jesus at that time, and his commandments is told by his witnesses. It is his testament unto his followers of that time that has been passed down in these times. All the masters talk the same inner realities. And as I have said before, the personage or character of Jesus was a mystic master, made into a Masonic master, and both are co-mingled into this one book. It is up to you to follow those wise instructions within it or not. Remember these are primarily the words of man and not the Creator, though you may see the words of the Creator within it. Another co-mingling. Here are some things you may have missed. They who sanctify and they who are sanctified are all one. Heb 2.11 Jesus is the apostle and high priest of a profession. Heb 3 Take heed don't depart the living God. In you. Heb 3.12 Word of God sharper than two-edged sword, Heb 4.12. High priest is a master, Heb 5, Masonic. Christ did not glorify the fact that he was a high priest, Heb 5.5. Christ is a priest after the order of Melchizedek, Heb 5.6. Called of God, 5.10. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which the first principles of the oracles of God, Heb 5.12.14. Seeing they crucify themselves the Son of God afresh, and put to an open shame, Heb 6.6. 6. You are to eat of the herbs of the garden, Heb 6.7-8, that you be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise, Heb 6.12. Jesus is made a high priest after the order of Melchizedek, Heb 6.20, Masonic order. Jesus is king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, Heb 7.1. Melchizedek means king of righteousness, king of Salem means king of peace, Heb 7.2. The Master receives those who die that were initiates of him in life, Heb 7, 6, and 8. The Melchizedek is made after the power of an endless life. A Melchizedek doesn't take an oath but is given one by the Lord or prior Master, Heb 7, 16, 28. Melchizedek is the title of the Master, Heb 7, 17. Masonic, read Heb 8, 10, 13. The law made nothing perfect. New covenant with Israel and Judah, Heb 8, 6, 13. As to sacrifices, Heb 9, 11, 14. Masonic, they which are called might receive eternal inheritance, Heb 9.15. All things by law are purged with blood, Heb 9.22. Masonic, sacrifice not animals, but your body you will give, Heb 10.5. Masonic, Jesus high priest over the house of God, Heb 10.21. Masonic most worshipful, for if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, Heb 10.26 died in faith, Heb 11, 13, 16, Masonic secret oath, choosing to suffer affliction with the people of God, Heb 11, 25, cloud of witnesses, Heb 12, 1, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, Heb 12, 22, all Masonic, don't reject the living master, Heb 12, 25, most worshipful, the living God is not the God of the dead, for they had their God, he is the God of the living, Luke 20, 37, 38, Masonic, Plenty potentiary. The Master baptizes with the Holy Ghost, his likeness seen in the Spirit, John 1.33, Masonic Ritual. The Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, John 5.22, Most Worshipful. No eternal life in the Scriptures, John 5.39.40, Right in your face. Your fathers ate manna and are dead, John 6.48.51. They learned of the truth and died of the world and its ways. Concerning Nam, John 6.63, Concerning testimony, John 8, 16, 18. Ye are gods, John 10, 34. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised a spiritual body. 
There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthly, such are they also that are earthly. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. 1 Corinthians 15, 39-49 Jah Jehovah is a title name given defining God Almighty, Judge Plenty Potentiary. God Almighty means Jah Jehovah, Exodus 6, 3, that men may know that thou whose name alone is Jehovah art the most high over all the earth. Psalm 83, 18, Masonic. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. For great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Isaiah 12, 2, Masonic. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Exalt him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Jah, and rejoice before him. Psalm 68, 4, Masonic. So the master is of the order of Melchizedek, Masonic, a king as Jah Jehovah, whose followers are Christians from christening initiated Christ, King of Righteousness, King of Peace is God Almighty in the flesh, the Most High, Lord of those who strive to be Christ-like. Masonic, you call me Master and Lord, John 13, 13. Jesus says another comforter shall abide with you, John 14, 16. The Masonic Jesus, study to show thyself approved, Meditate to show thyself worthy unto the Lord, yourself. Extra. Jonathan, the son of Gershom, the son of Manasseh, he and his sons were priests to the tribe of Dan until the day of the captivity of the land. Judges 18.30 Dan is a serpent that causes one to fall backwards. The house of God. Ezra 8.36.5.15 The family of nations. Mirrored, United Nations. Rastus in Moab, 2 Samuel 23.20 Moses died in the land of Moab. Do 34, 5, 8. Lot was initiated. Computer 279. Bilal means one cannot speak to. Warren Samuel 25, 17. Nabal means one who is of folly. 1 Samuel 25, 25. Ziph means the second month. 1 Kings 6, 1. Bull means the eighth month. 1 Kings 6, 38. Ethanim means the seventh month. 1 Kings 8, 2. Leprosy. Skin turning white. 2 Kings 5, 1, 14. Gehazi and his seed is cursed with leprosy forever. 2 Kings 5, 27. Cannibalism, 2 Kings 6, 28, 30. Penis is chopped off and thrown into the fire, Matt 3, 7, 10. Jesus telling of the light and sound, Matt 10, 27. A prophet prepares the way, Matt 11, 9, 10. Traditions going against God's commandments, Matt 15, 2, 11. Masonic, Peter is Satan, Matt 16, 22, 23. Masonic, if one enters into life, keep the commandments, Masonic oath, Matt 19, 16, 19. Whosoever does the will of God is my brother Masonic, Mark 3.35. Ephatha means be opened, Mark 7.34. Receive the kingdom as a chid, neophyte, Mark 10.14.15, Masonic. First commandment of all, Mark 12.28.31, Masonic. Jesus appearing in other forms, Mark 16.9.12.14. Jesus, Luke 1.31, called the son of the highest, Luke 1.32. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, Luke 1.33, Masonic. Of the light and sound, Luke 8, 5, 18. The Lord's Prayer, Luke 11, 2, 4, Masonic, Seek, Knock, Luke 11, 9, Masonic. Thy eye be single, Luke 11, 34, 36. Bearing the deeds of your fathers, Luke 11, 46, 52. He who confesses me, 12, 57, 59, Masonic. Seek ye first, Luke 12, 31, Masonic. Agree with thy adversary, Luke 12, 57, 59, Masonic. The straight gate. Luke 13, 24. Resurrection of the just. Luke 14, 12 to 14. Masonic. Disciple. Luke 14, 26, 27. Masonic. Segu Masters. Luke 16, 9, 13. Masonic. Kingdom of God. Presseth into it. Luke 16, 16. Masonic. The kingdom of God is within you. Luke 17, 21. Eagles gathered. Luke 17, 37. America is where the eagles gather. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ highest Masonic master, and the head of the woman Eastern Star is the man Mason, and the head of Christ master is God, Judge Plenty Potentiary, 1 Corinthians 11.3. So Christ cannot be God if God is the head of Christ. The mystic masters of Madonna was created by Apsaris I, 
to aid man to obtaining the mind and powers of his, her, absolute highest self. Those who continued this practice, although mixed with their own ideas, were the masters of Egypt, adorned with their aprons of the order. The mythology of the Aten, the radiant inner sun, is not only unique in Egyptian history, but is also one of the most complex and controversial aspects of ancient Egypt to the non-initiate. The term was used in the coffin texts to denote the esoteric inner sun, and in the story of Sinue, dating from the Middle Kingdom, the word is used with the determinative for God, Papyrus Berlin 10499. In that story, Eminem Harai is described as soaring into the sky and uniting with Aten, his creator. You find enlightenment in the quietness of your thoughts high in your head. There you see God face to face. Text written during the New Kingdom's 18th dynasty frequently use the term to mean throne or place of the sun god. The Aten was conceived as a direct manifestation of the inner sun as god of the body, the light of the world. Though the Aten became particularly important during the New Kingdom reigns of Tuthmosis IV and Amenhotep III, mostly sole credit for the actual origin of the deity Aten, the inner light, must be credited to Amenhotep IV, Akhenaten Akhenaten. Even at the beginning of the New Kingdom, its founder, Amose, is flattered on a stella by being likened to Aten when he shines. His successor, Amenhotep thus becomes in death, united with Aten, coalescing with the one from whom he had come. Tuthmosis, when was portrayed in his temple at Tombos in Nubia, wearing the sun disk and followed by the hieroglyphic sign for God. Hatshepsut used the term on her standing obelisk in the temple of Karnak to denote the astronomical concept of the Aten. Though it was actually during the reign of Amenhotep II that the earliest iconography of Aten appears on a monument at Giza as a winged sun, though this was a manifestation of Re, with outstretched arms grasping the cartouche of the pharaoh. If thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Amenhotep III seems to have actively encouraged the worship of Aten, stressing inner worship in many of his extensive building works. In fact, one of the king's epithets was Jekin Aten or Radiance of Aten, a term which was also used in several other contexts during his reign. During the reign of Amenhotep III, there is evidence for a priesthood of Aten at Heliopolis, which was the traditional center for the worship of the inner sun as god Re, and he also incorporated references to the Aten in the names he gave to his palace at Malkata, known as Splendor of Aten, a division of his army and even to a pleasure boat called Aten Glitters. Also, several officials of his reign bore titles connecting them with the Aten path, such as Hatie, who was scribe of the two granaries of the Temple of Aten in Memphis, and a certain Ramos, not the vizier, who was steward of the mansion of the Aten. The latter was even depicted with his wife going to view the inner sun. Prior to Amenhotep IV, the inner sun as the symbol Aten was a symbol in which major gods appear and so we find such phrases as Adam who is in his Aten or who is in his light. It was taught that Amenhotep IV was the first to initiate the appearance of the true god Aten by formulating a didactic name for him, but it was around long before he was even born. Hence, in the early years of Amenhotep IV's reign, the inner sun god Riharakti, traditionally depicted with a hawk's head, was identical to Aten, which was now worshipped as a symbol for the inner light as god, rather than as an object associated with the Aten as god. Initially, Aten's relationship with other gods was simple. He was above all and it should even be mentioned that Amenhotep IV equated Aten to his own father, Amenhotep III, meaning enlightened. Others have suggested that rather than true monotheism, the path of the Aten was a form of henotheism, in which one god was effectively elevated above many others. To honor his enlightenment, Amenhotep IV constructed an enormous temple east of the great temple of Amun at Karnak during the third year of his reign. The temple included pillared courts with striking colossal statues of the master and at least three sanctuaries, one of which was called the Hotiyut Benben, Mansion of the Benben. This emphasized the relationship between Aten and the sun path of Heliopolis. The Benben symbolized the primeval mound on which the inner sun as God emerged from Nun to create the universe, the world of light. One section of the temple appears to have been the domain of Nefertiti, Amenhotep IV's principal wife, and in one scene, she is pictured together with two daughters but excluding her husband, worshipping below the Aten. Artistically, this temple at Karnak was even decorated in a novel, expressionistic style that broke with previous tradition and would soon influence the representation of all figures. Perhaps nowhere is this artistic style more evident than in the tomb Amenhotep IV's Vizier Ramos, 
Most of the tomb's decoration consists of fine low reliefs carved during the last years of Amenhotep III reign in a congenital Theban style, but on the rear wall of the pillared tomb is a mixture of traditional design and the startling developments in art made by Akinton. This new artistic style was to usher into Egypt considerable religious upheaval. Amenhotep IV, who would change his name to Akinton to reflect Aten's importance, first replaced the state god Amun with Aten, the father of us all. The hawk-headed figure of Rehorakti Aten was then abandoned in favor of the iconography of the solar sun, which was now depicted as an orb with a uraeus at its base, emitting rays that ended in human hands either left open or holding ank signs that gave life to the nose of both the king and the great royal wife Nefertiti. It should however be noted that this iconography actually predates Amenhotep IV, with some examples from the reign of Amenhotep II, though now it became the sole manner in which Aten was depicted.